All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on atomic number, mass number, and net charge of an atom. All right, so the lesson objectives for this video are going to be to explain the following terms, atomic number, mass number, and net charge. Um, also to explain how to use these terms to calculate the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an atom, and also the opposite of this, where you're going to use the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons to figure out the atomic number, mass number, and net charge. All right, so the first one we're going to look at is the atomic number. Now, atomic number represents the number of protons in an atom, and its symbol is a capital Z. So capital Z equals the number, the atomic number, and it's also equal to the number of protons. It's how the periodic table is ordered, so you'll actually see that on the periodic table. It's usually at the top of each element at the top. With, in this case, hydrogen, it's going to be a 1. Um, and the periodic table is ordered this way, where it just goes up by 1 each time through, uh, through the periodic table. Next, we're going to talk about mass number. This represents the number of protons and neutrons in an atom because these are the two subatomic particles that have mass in the atom. If you remember from the last video, electrons have such a small mass that we're pretty much just going to round that off to zero and only focus on the protons and neutrons for the mass of an atom. The mass number is represented with the symbol A, capital A, and it's equal to the number of protons and the number of neutrons like we just said previously. Um, also, you can use this to figure out the number of neutrons by taking the mass number A and subtracting it from the number of protons. So what I basically did to this equation is subtracted off this P plus right here to get the number of neutrons. Also, you can substitute Z in, the Z atomic number right here, in for the number of protons, because if you remember from the last slide, those two things are equal. So you can use that to figure out the number of neutrons if you know the mass number and the number of protons. Also, the number of protons can be figured out by taking the mass number and subtracting off the neutrons. Lastly, we're going to talk about net charge, and that basically is just the total charge of an atom. Net just means total, so when you see the word net with it, it just means total charge, and it's calculated using the number of protons and electrons of an atom, since these are the two subatomic particles that actually have charge. If you remember from the last video, neutrons do not have a charge. All right, it's calculated, you can use the number of protons, and you add that to the negative number of electrons because electrons have a negative charge. So because of that, you're going to basically want to, you're going to want to multiply this by a negative one. If you wanted to, you could also just take the number of protons and subtract the number of electrons to find the net charge. You could also use this to find the number of protons. If you know the net charge and the electrons, you just add those together, and that'll get you the number of protons. Or you can just, to figure out the number of electrons, you can take the protons and subtract off the net charge. And again, I substituted in the Z for the number of protons, and you just subtract off that net charge, and then you have the number of electrons. So that's basically mass number, atomic number, and net charge. If you have any questions on any of that, let me know.